choose a town. Another Nephilim. I suppose the minions of hell have grown stronger. They certainly haven't become any smarter. Finally, that cue's done. Alright, so now I'm going to be playing the wizard, the new hero. For my first chance, I'll be getting Astral Presence. This is going to give me 100% more mana regeneration when I am under 50% of mana. Now, you may be asking, how strong is Li Ming? Well, she's basically like a god. She is a literal god, and she does the most damage in the game, and she's completely OP. You should play her before you get she gets nerfed, because that's how good she is. Don't know, should you? Allow me to demonstrate some of the damage on this tower. As you can see, it does quite a bit of damage. And you can just pretty much kill one of these towers if there was no one here. Already about 50% done. This is fun because it forces them to come to me. Now, Li Ming has almost no HP, so that's her only weakness, is that she's a glass cannon. As you can see, she's doing all the damage. That's right, get out of there, Thrall. Ooh, nice try, Tyranda. So I'm going to go back a little bit. Her blink is really short range, unless you talent it. Uh, it's pretty good if you talent it, actually, though, so... It's pretty good for escaping. I might get that if I die a lot. Fortunately, I won't. If I don't, then I'll just go full damage spec. Let's see if we can kill this tower. Well, one more tank. One more magic missile. There we go. So, uh, yeah, I really think she's going to get nerfed very quickly. So you may as well enjoy her while she lasts. So her main ability is that if she gets a kill, it resets all her cooldowns. So you can uh, just start doing a lot of damage. The enemy team has Murky though, it's really good for me. So we have a look here, I'm doing about twice as much damage as anyone else, even their mailing. So she's so OP, she's even more powerful than her own, than her own character. Well, we may lose Johanna here to a Murky. See, reset my cooldowns. Almost got another kill actually. Oh, thank you, my feathered friend. Oh, she even died, actually. Alright, now she becomes OP at level 4. Well, actually level 10, but at level 4 you can suck people in with your orb, which allows the missiles to hit pretty much everyone. It's ridiculously strong. You'll see. Cast magic missile into the darkness, just in case. Just gonna wait. Oh god, this side. It's actually not what I want to be doing, because uh, since I'm so weak, people could jump on me. There are a few places where you can blink over. Maybe there is okay. Unless you talent it to increase the range, which is actually pretty fun to do, playing illusionist blink style. Um, it's kind of hard to escape with it. Let's try and take it this while we're waiting. One more shot should do it. Oops. Get out of that. As you see, it sucks people in, which is nice. Resets my cooldowns. So Murky at all the last Vikings is a terrible choice versus Li Ming, which is pretty funny. I like the Vikings. Go, go. So you can almost pretty much one shot Murky. Oops, this wrong, better watch out for him. Let's go back and get some mana. As you can see, my astral presence is activated now. There's also the new combat text, which is pretty nice. So I find the best combo is usually W then Q, and then when you have your uh, ultimate W, Q, and R, that's the best way to do damage. So if I hit, that should hit... Oh, I just missed it, actually. That's not a very good example. At all. Just 
almost out of range. That's alright. Let's see. Deming isn't actually doing much damage. I'm doing almost twice as much damage as their Ming. I guess everyone's playing Ming at the moment. That's why it's so hard to get a Q for her. I think I was waiting like 7 or 8 minutes. It was ridiculous. So I'm going to increase my Orbis power and range. Nah, that wasn't fast enough. So when I get level 10, I'll get Disintegrate, which I think is the uh, better of the ultimates. Uh, probably had a range of that one, actually. That was a bit of a waste. Free Candy Van. Artemis. If we can hit this tower one more time. A little bit out of range of my Archimisses. Let's see. Probably take out this building. Careful. There we go, that's one. Almost got hit by her orb. Almost got a kill there. Uh, if only I just had a little bit more power. A little bit more arcane power. There we go. You see all my cooldowns keep resetting, so I keep doing a lot more damage. Alright, let's go hit that fountain. And let's get to 10, then we can start disintegrating people. <laughs> so you can almost take it out if there is 8, uh, 10, 10% of HP or something, it's pretty crazy. Also, since I haven't died yet, I'll probably get Glass Cannon, which is going to increase my Arcane Power by 15%, uh, but it will actually reduce my HP by... I think it's about... I almost got a kill there. Right, disintegrate time. Come on, yep. Let's see if there's anything else to use my abilities after. Uh, no more mana. This is why I really like Astral Presence. You can use your mana up a lot really quickly when you start uh, getting your combos. Essentially, if one kill happens in a teamfight while you're already using Disintegrate, you can disintegrate the game, but should get a second kill, then a third kill. So she's a really snowball hero, but quite low HP. I've tried to play. I've actually had a lot of fun playing her. Oops, I think that was thrown back there. There we go. There he is. And since uh, Disintegrate is only actually... I think I can blink over here. Only about 20 second cooldown, so you can use it just any time you want, really. It's nasty. You got hit by her. Be careful with Thrawn now. He might be trying to come for me. See, you can see Tyrande's not happy. Whoa, I'm gonna hit by that. Looks like their, their Ming went the wrong spec, I think. Because her orb isn't pulling me in. Grabbing over there. Let's see if we can. Uh, come on, kill Murky. I need to reset my cooldowns. Oh, our tennis is chasing me. Unfortunately. Since I only have about 2000 HP, which is less HP than a tank has at level 1, so I may as well go here. Looks like we're pushing quite nicely, so that's nice. Although well, they're pushing a little bit too. So uh, we look at if we look at the thing. I'm doing twice as much damage as Thrall. I haven't died yet, and uh, my siege damage is pretty high as well. Don't speak that, my friend. Let's see if we can get Taranda, maybe. Oh, 
Okay, glass cannon, so I have 15% more damage now. But 15% less HP, which is not the best. But we should be okay. Just be careful. Should get a kill, almost. There we go. Can I hit the fountain? Yes, I can. Yep, so as you can see, the damage is pretty outrageous compared to the rest of the team. This might be a quick game, hopefully. Now, if I can get a murky kill, that'd be great because murky will instantly reset. Like, oh, they're all stacked up. Come on. There we go. Launch again. Another kill. Another kill. Come on, infinite arcane power. <laughs> That's pretty nice. Now I'm out of mana, unfortunately. Oh, I need mana. Now, if you're in, come and give me your mana. Let's see what. A little bit out of range. Yeah, we should head back. Yeah, I like to play Wizard of Diablo 3 as well, so this will make this hero really fun. It's quite cheeky, quite cheeky hero, which is pretty funny as well. So let's power up a mana. As we can see, still double damage. Oh, the Emilang is now catching up. Let's have a look at her talents. She got that. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, that's good. Oh, actually, she's got the same. Oh, wait, that's <laughs> that's me. What am I talking about? Okay, she got defensive talents. Dominance not very good. Calamity, eh, it's okay. Wayfair force, nah, I'm sorry. Illusionist is good though. Let's just troll for a little bit. Nice try. Oh, he's pretty quick. It should be okay, though. Let's see if we can get him to come in here. Uh, next talent I'll get will increase my arcane missiles by about 40%, because so I'm going to get the two extra things in it. Although, if I was in trouble a lot, I'd be getting diamond skin. So if you get illusionist and diamond skin, you actually have pretty good survivability. Oh, that's murky. If I can set... Oh. So now I have five in my missiles, which is pretty cool, actually. The targeting is really fun for this hero. Be careful. Oh dear. Oh dear, I may die here. Drow. No, my first death. I hope never fall this game. You can see I'm about 10,000 damage above their hero and about 20,000 damage over the next person on our team, which is double their damage. 12 minutes in so far too. So if I was going uh, Illusionist, if I had Illusionist and Diamond Skin, I'd be able to blink away, get hit by Thrall and blink again, because if you take more than 25, what is it? 15% of your max HP at once, you get a reset on your cooldown, which is really nice. Someone should get this, someone should else should take this. Okay, Malfurion's gonna take the plant. He should have enough time. Yep. Okay. What I like to do actually on her in this map is maybe hide here and shoot them from there because your disintegrate has a very long range. So let's see if we can get here in time to do some damage. Maybe. Should be able to get Tyrande here. There we go. Careful there. Ooh, nasty. Oh, Zealot charges that? Oh dear, dear. Don't kill me! No. I should have gone. I should have walked up. Let's do tunnel vision. Pushla. Is this, uh, is that Indonesian or Malaysian? I guess we are. No, we're in the Singaporean server, I guess. It's kind of annoying. Latencies. I guess it's the closest latency to me. Oh, I had, it was going so well, then I had those two deaths. Ah, it looks like Chinese. I really want to play Li Ming versus the Vikings. Since that, um, I could keep disintegrating versus them after they, and then the first one dies. Maybe kill Eric or something. 
wait for me. Alienine's dead. Oh, they found Murky's egg. Nice. I wonder if I can shoot Murky through the barrier. Maybe he won't try and I might think he's safe. This game is just about to be over. Didn't have time to get to level 20. Level 20 you can get 20% more ability power, which is really fun. Ah, uh, just a little bit short. Okay, now we have Telrash's elements. This will give me 20% more power. So I would have been able to kill Thrall if I had done it just before. a murky kill that'd be great yeah I don't like the, the pushing spell that the, their one had taken she is a more defensive build as well there we go oh so close sorry Thrall that was a really nice heal Let's see if we can get one more kill before the game's over not bloody likely but we'll try into that. I don't know why hers doesn't seem to fool me. I thought she had the... Anyway. So as we can see, 20,000 damage. So she is so OP. 16 minute game, almost 70,000 damage, which is almost 30,000 damage over the next player, which is another Li Ming, and that was 5,000 damage above the Thrall. So I'd recommend you buy her if you get the chance. Uh, I think you can still take Friend Recruit if you want to play this game. Uh, Wretched Making Experience, it was okay. It was okay. Very good, I'll say. Thank you. Yep, so if you get a chance to play Li Ming before she's nerfed, that'd be good. And if you use my friend invite, you can start playing this game with two heroes, I think. You get Rainer and Sylvanas for free. Alright guys, peace out.